I was drawn to photographing the landscape, I think, through, I actually photographed the landscape a lot in black and white at first, but then I found myself putting the colour back in. So I, I'm drawn to landscape in many ways due to the ever-changing colours, the seasons, and just that kind of, you know, proximity to nature that you're actually out within either a wood space or at the seaside or in the rolling hills. You actually just feel you have that closeness to to nature. I got interested in photography through art from an early age and then really got really seriously into photography in my teenage years through cameras being around the house, my dad's cameras, using my dad's camera. Then he bought me my own camera so that gave me the freedom to go out and photograph lots of different things. I didn't have a specific subject then, I just thought I was just intrigued by the whole magic of photography, just going out and documenting and photographing. Um, Sharps Wood and there's a few other woods um, around Bradford that I photograph and have been drawn to have kind of continued to photograph. And Sharps Wood, just through making work, became the more prominent space and as a child I spent time in this wood as well, so there are links with my childhood here. So when I was a child, the things I used to do in Sharps Wood with friends, we'd kind of play around the trees, hide and seek, not get up to too much mischief. You know, just generally have fun in the space, because I, I think childhood experience and the books that you read as a child have links with woodland spaces in all that northern European um, mythology as well. So it has links um, with the woodland space. I'm not out to replicate what we see. Um, and I just, as, as a medium of recording something or trying to express a mood and emotion or a response to the landscape, um, photography, it's just a form of expression. I chose to photograph between sunset and sunrise because it was a different approach to photographing during the day, which I'd always done. And the, my photography has always had that experimental thread running through it. I've never really wanted to replicate what your eye sees anyway through photography. And by photographing at night, you're actually getting images that are, only exist through the camera because of the minimal light, the ambient light that you have. You have the transient light sources of cars that go by that illuminate kind of fractional bits of landscape, fleeting, going past. You've got the kind of constant more waxing and waning of the moon, which can bring on that additional lighting. And then you have street lights around that give you a different quality of light. So you're really working with real experimental nature, the, the unknown, the unpredictability, but out of using the technical side of the camera, you can control in that respect how much light goes in the camera and through time. I think very, very early on, painting inspired me, not photography, and my mum always used to take me to see the pre-Raphaelite paintings, and I think reflecting now, the colours of Sharp's Wood are lush and dense and saturated, and I just feel in the response, you know, of your memories, coming back to that, and I love in terms of painters again, you've got Turner's landscape, the sublime, the fear, the edge, that we don't actually, um, how we respond to landscape, that it isn't just this picturesque, it's just not pretty. And I do think there is the element of threat in the landscape of nature. And Mother Nature has the element of the unknown, the expected. I think the Blair Witch film um, did touch so many people. Because um, I think it tapped into the natural psyche of that inherent fear we have of the woods through... Um, mythology as well through our ancestral past I think the the fear has existed through time and people have drawn inspiration from it you know a lot of nor northern European fairy tales and folklore has come from that um, and I think it, it has, has been with us because obviously there must have been a fear in the woods um, the hunter the hunted so I think that is deeply embedded within our 
our psyche as a, as a collective memory and personal memory as well. It's a kind of a personal and collective memory of my response in Sharps Wood as well, the response to the landscape and working with the element of fear, going out into the woodland space at night and making work and you're working with fear and it, it kind of drives the work along. To be the first artist to show in Centenary Square at the Impressions Gallery, it's a very exciting, exciting prospect, as in that I'm a Bradfordian, and to show in my city, home city, um, it's just a very exciting time, and actually the, the scale of the show as well, a whole collection of work, of years of work, just really looking forward to putting my work out there in the public domain.